Hello, hi. Welcome to Concept in Medicine. Today is not a tutorial, but rather interesting facts. Today we are going to be talking about five things you didn't know about high blood pressure. So before we look at those five things that you didn't know about high blood pressure, let's first of all talk about what blood pressure is. When we say blood pressure, simply it is the force of your blood pushing against your arteries. The force of your blood pushing against your artery and this blood is in your arteries so when it's pushing against your arteries that force that it generates gives us the blood pressure you should know that when your heart beats that is when the heart is pumping blood and as the heart beats your blood pressure will rise and that blood pressure that is generated when your heart beats pushing the blood we call it systolic blood pressure then the other one is when your heart is relaxing and the question is when does your heart relax your heart relaxes when you are at rest let's say you are sleeping or you are sitting down calmly that pressure that is generated when you are at rest and your heart is relaxing where your blood pressure reduces as you relax we call that pressure diastolic blood pressure now if you go to the hospital or the clinic or even at home when you are using the blood pressure device we call the sphygmo manometer you realize that when you measure the blood pressure it gives you two values an example is 120 over 75 millimeters of mercury you realize that there are two values the value on top that is the 120 millimeters of mercury becomes the systolic blood pressure and the value at the bottom that is the example i gave 75 millimeters of mercury becomes the diastolic blood pressure now with that introduction being made let's talk about the five things you didn't know about high blood pressure high blood pressure is also referred to as hypertension okay so let's take the first one the first thing that you didn't know about hypertension or high blood pressure is that high blood pressure or hypertension is a silent killer disease and the reason being that when you have your blood pressures in the hypertension zone you would not show any symptoms you would not get ill you would go about your daily activities as usual it is only when it starts affecting your organs, especially the brain, the heart, and your kidneys, primarily, that is when you will start developing symptoms. And sometimes it might be too late. For example, when it affects your kidneys, you will have kidney failure. If it affects your heart, you may have a heart attack or heart failure. When it affects your brain, you may develop a stroke so those are the things that can easily kill you because of that we say that high blood pressure or hypertension is a silent killer disease it means that it progresses without showing any symptoms or you will not show or complain of anything when your blood pressures are rising until it starts affecting these uh, major organs like the brain the heart and the kidneys so that is the first thing that you didn't know about high blood pressure the second thing you didn't know about high blood pressure is that there are two types the first type we call it primary high blood pressure or primary hypertension another name for it is essential hypertension this particular hypertension or high blood pressure is the most common type of hypertension and it's what majority of you that have high blood pressure has majority of you have this type of what hypertension or high blood pressure primary hypertension or high blood pressure or essential hypertension or high blood pressure the cause is unknown and if there are even causes they are going to be what multiple we cannot point to one factor or cause has been the cause because of that 
it is called what the primary hypertension the second type which is not so common is what we call the secondary hypertension for that it develops as you age as you age it develops and for secondary hypertension it's usually treated when the cause is taken care of the blood pressure will start coming down when the underlying cause of this hypertension known as secondary high blood pressure or second hypertension is taken care of is treated okay that is the second thing you didn't know about high blood pressure let's talk about the third thing that you didn't know about high blood pressure high blood pressure or hypertension is not diagnosed on a single reading of the blood pressures the bps or the blood pressures are taken on several occasions at least two occasions four to six hours apart or better still your healthcare provider would schedule a date with you on different days um, for your blood pressure to be checked and if on these separate occasions at least two separate occasions your blood pressure consistently remain high then you will be diagnosed as a hypertensive patient you will be diagnosed of what hypertension newly diagnosed hypertension then somebody will ask what are the normal blood pressures your blood pressure normally should be less than 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury meaning the top one is going to be the systolic as we explained earlier on and the bottom one is going to be diastolic so it should not go to 120 and above it should be below 120 meaning that in that regard your systolic blood pressure should range from 90 to 190 millimeters of mercury 90 to 119 millimeters of mercury and your diastolic we said should be less than 80 millimeters of mercury meaning that it should range from 60 to millimeters of mercury so that is the normal blood pressure but usually you would be considered hypertensive when your blood pressure is at least 140 over 90 millimeters of mercury on two separate occasions with an interval of at least four to six hours and that means that there should not you should not have been hypertensive you are first time becoming a hypertensive those are the parameters that your healthcare provider will be looking at so if you have a BP machine at home that's a sigma manometer at home you check your blood pressures and you are getting these values continuously or persistently then it means that you have to visit the nearest healthcare facility so that becomes the third thing that you didn't know about high blood pressure the fourth one is high blood pressure or hypertension cannot be cured i know there is a myth out there that when you take certain medication, especially herbal preparations, uh, you are able to cure hypertension. But unfortunately, I have a bad news for you. Hypertension cannot be cured. The BPs, the blood pressures can only be controlled by medications. So take note of that. Then finally, the last thing or the fifth thing that you didn't know about hypertension is that the first choice of treatment of high blood pressure or hypertension is heart healthy lifestyle modifications and somebody will ask what are those lifestyle modifications one exercise regular exercise can help reduce your blood pressures if you've not gotten into the hypertensive zones the next one is weight loss then finally diet which is the most important very very important and for hypertension or high blood pressure we have a special diet that helps in controlling the blood pressures if you've not uh, developed hypertension yet or even if you've developed the high blood pressure we call it a dash diet which stands for dietary approach to stop hypertension then if the blood pressures are not being controlled or they are not coming down when you have changed your lifestyle modification which has been monitored by a healthcare provider for a period of time then medications will be prescribed for you to take and at the same time you will continue to monitor your blood pressures and be coming for regular reviews and these medications we call them 
the anti-hypertensive medications and those are the medications that you are going to be on for a long period of time depending on how your blood pressures are responding to these medications the dosages of the medications may be changed or reviewed by your healthcare provider so those are the five things you didn't know about hypertension i believe you enjoyed this kindly subscribe to my channel that is concept in medicine and my name is dr dell bye bye